All right, we've seen Jazz Jackrabbit beat up the nerdy turtle guy and save the girl. We saw Speedwagon save the day in Convoy. Is it time for the greatest miracle yet? It's been almost 200 years since we started this Hisin Kaifa campaign. And things were pretty grim for a long time, then they started to look up. We even had this beautiful fox-shaped nation. And then the Ottomans actually chewed our arse off. And we were not quite so glorious anymore, but we have clung. Clung hard onto the threads of life here. And we've expanded in a very fugly way down into Persia. And after squeezing every last diplomatic drop out of our nation, we have managed to secure an alliance with the very people who chewed our arse off. Yes, we will be kissing Ottoman boots and sucking Ottoman teats until they grow black and fall off. So we need to secure a lot of power, and we need to do it quickly. Most notably because we still have a core on Hassan Kaifa, our titular province. And I gotta hand it to the Ottoman, he built a textile manufactory there just for us. Our core won't last forever though, it's gonna be gone in about well, under a hundred years, that's not very good for us. So we need to make good of the situation we have, and eventually topple the Ottomans. Now they have tech 18, 18, 19, we do not. Our tech is a whole load of ass and chips. In fact, it's costing us quite a lot of money in corruption due to unbalanced research. I really need to get my dip on. But for that, I would benefit pretty well from actually having some spies out and getting me that delicious uh, tech. However, we really, really need to pull our finger out. We secured this alliance, we need to put it to work pretty much immediately. We have theoretically the best army in the world. Our professionalism is second to none. 99.49%. I really want to get that back up to 100. Our army is small, but it is drilling. It has a whole cannon on it. But now is not the time for drilling. Now we need to get moving, and we need that fort erect. Why? Because we have a lot of people around here. They used to be our friends, and then they decided to stab us in the back. At least that's how I'm choosing to remember it. Mazan Duran, who saved us initially, decided to actually attack us. And Shirvan, who really hate us, decided to defend us. It's funny because historically we actually played the role that Mushasha did where the Ottomans and Persia fought over the land, but neither really conquered it. But I digress. I need to kick all these people in the face really, really hard, and I have very little time with which to do it. But I have something of a masterful plan, which I'm sure will find a way to backfire, but until then... Uh, and it came to me just minutes before I started this stream, so how fortuitous. Uh, so we just secured this alliance with the Ottomans. We don't really have any trust going there, but they are an administrator, which means they don't desire a lot of land, but what they do desire is Haditha and Karbal. Now that is useful for us. That is very useful for us. At least I hope it is. I see the Ottomans are doing the farm estate defense. So here's how it's gonna work. I need to attack Mushasha immediately, and I'm gonna call in the Ottomans. However, we, uh, we do not have a Casus Belli with which to do so. And Mazan Duran, they will not be a co-belligerent in this war, unfortunately. We probably still have a truce with them. We do. The truce will be gone very soon, but I don't have very soon. I need to get to work immediately, because I have this mission to protect our brethren in Haditha. Haditha is this province right here. We are not going to protect our brethren. They're going to be finished on the 13th of May. That's a month away. However, it's enough to give us this mission from God. <clears throat> so we will do exactly that. That gives us conquest on you, which means we can happily use it and still call in our auto friends. Normally they wouldn't accept, especially since they're in another war, but we tried to squeeze out every last drop of diplomatic reputation, so thank goodness for that. There will be advisors to fire, policies to revoke. Uh, I can't do that for another eight years, so I'm going to be hemorrhaging dip as usual. But yeah, that is nothing unusual. Before we do this, I don't think there are any friends for us to make. No, certainly not. Now, when I fight Mushasha, I'm probably also going to fight Shirvan. Shirvan has friends in Iraq, and Timmy, and also Mazandaran, of course, but that's no big deal. They're going to be called in anyway. Timmy is an interesting one. He has a lot of Sunni land that I would quite like to eat. I would get a lot of aggressive expansion around here, but I don't think I need to worry about that. I still have my alliance with Transoceana. 
And that is awesome. Hopefully they don't turn on me. They'll have every reason to, but I want to eat this land. It's sunny, and I'm really struggling for sunny land. I've had to convert a lot of what I've picked up at no shortage of expense to myself. But it's okay. I don't mind if it's horrible, revolting land. As long as it's ours, we can knuckle down and we will prevail. It's going to be expensive, though, because our absolutism is paltry and I need a lot more of it. I need it fast. I'm not, not to the point where I'm willing to strengthen my government over it, though. No, we're going to have a hard time getting that. And we just don't get any of these. What could I do? We're not going to have trade companies. We're not going to have universities. We're certainly not going to have a large army. Or absolutism. Or emperorship. Or five promoted cultures. Well, that's not impossible. But it would cost me more of my uh, my diplo points that I really don't have to spare. Also, I can't, so boo-hoo. <laughs> yes, yeah, somebody's pointing out that we're just the sad remnants of the Ayyubids. Yeah, we're no longer even an Ikta. We lost that when we changed religion due to rebels. I'm sure I had a good idea then for what I was doing, but it didn't all come together. Okay, I can't see any reason not to just attack. I'm going to make sure Vanna co belligerent. The Ottomans are going to be promised land here. And we don't get a stab hit, so that is super good. And, oh, before I do this, of course, I should label to everybody what is and is not of vital interest to me, which is pretty much all of this stuff. It's even going to go down here, but we'll worry about that later. And I need to look at what the Ottomans consider vital interest. None of Shirvan? Well, that's pretty good, because I'm about to say I want all of Shirvan. And hopefully the Ottomans don't turn around and disagree on any of those matters. I need to block off the Ottomans, and I need to knuckle down a, uh, a basis for my own little power structure. How it's going to work out, I don't know, but I need to uh, unify this land. Punching the Ottomans in the face is going to be extremely difficult. They have Blobhemia Emperor as their ally. In fact, looking at Ottomans, they seem downright unstoppable. But that's okay, because we, we nerfed them into the ground this patch, or so I'm told. Jake, can you lower autonomy? Yeah, if I'm suicidal. I mean, I could lower this to get some absolutism, but in exchange for eating rebels. I do not have the money. My income is paltry. Uh, I'm going to have to pay my army, sadly. I spend ages rooting out corruption. I have to pay for my missionaries. You know, there's a lot of bad things happening here. I almost want to fire my advisor, he's so expensive. But as long as we have something, we can make uh, we can make the world bend to our will. So we'll be fighting all of this and all of this. Uh, not a man, though. A man is Mazandaran's ally, and I would like to get them involved. I'd actually like Mazandaran to be a co-belligerent, but I simply can't wait. That province is going to be converted very soon, and I need to make good on my mission very quickly. So we're going to invite the Ottomans, we're going to make Shirvan a co-belligerent, and we're just going to say, hell, let's do it. Bwam. So there we go, Mazandaran have joined in. So have Shirvan, but the Ottomans have joined in on our side, and we are really going to be cowering behind them quite a lot. And I suspect that others are going to join in too, notably Iraq. Now I actually want this land to not be converted. I might be able to take it eventually. Alright, so Timurids have gotten involved because, of course, uh, Shirvan are going to call in their best buddies. I wonder if he's going to come and ruin my day. Truce with Iraq is over. Yeah, of course. Well, Iraq is actually my friend, and they even want to marry me, which is kind of cute. But there we go, they've decided to attack us. I mean... Can I really be surprised? But this is excellent! I've been wanting a reason to fight Iraq for a long time, because I need to feed them some of this disgusting land. Iraq have da -da 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 -da, Arabian ideas that includes missionary strength, and... Oh, I thought it included an extra missionary. I am clearly off my rocker here. But he does have religious ideas, so he has a couple of missionaries. He is going to do the bulk of the converting down here for me, even though I really want this land. But I already got Baghdad, so joke's on him. So there we go, we managed to secure the war goal, we managed to stop, or at least temporarily stop, its conversion. Long may that be the uh, the case. And Russia just uh, signed off on fighting Yeren, so they're all the way over here. Seems they're not quite fighting the Ming yet. 
Russia, not as strong as they could be. They didn't eat into the PLC, they got beaten up by the Ottomans, and they haven't eaten the Uzbek. Why? Well, who am I to worry? I just gotta kill and keep moving. Although, honestly, it's probably a bad idea for me to move in much here. Can I actually sign this? I don't want to lose the legitimacy, so I forget that nonsense. Trust me, I have an extremely cunning plan here. Iraq entered an alliance with our enemy, who would have thought? Who would believe, as we often say around here? Haha! -ha! There you go, Iraq. Now, I need Iraq out of this war because they have cores on these provinces that I'm trying to core. And that's what's stopping it, and I have to eat all the downsides that come with that. So, I'll be honest, you're going to be my vassal, and I'm going to force religion on you, and I'm going to take your money. And people are going to be unhappy about that. I am going to beat up everybody who is unhappy with me. Hopefully. <laughs> really hopefully. Uh, but they're not up for peace. Oh man, I don't even get any of that money. There's no point in taking money away from my future vassal. Uh, might as well revoke that. Because Iraq's going to be unhappy for a while. There we go. Our army is so professional, we just wipe out everybody we come across. And the Ottomans are going to do the rest of this heavy lifting for me. I'll concentrate down here. I didn't come all this way to do nothing. Except Crimea is going, hey bro, why do anything? I'll take care of this. And I'm just going, yeah, that's fine by me. We'll just take a step back and enjoy it all. Because the Ottomans don't want this land. Like I said, they're an administrator. And we already said dibs to the land here. So that's good news for us. What I should spend my f uh, focus on is not having my lands occupado. Jake, any comment about how you kinda unraveled last session after the autos slapped you silly? Unraveled? I don't know what you're talking about. This sounds like lies to me. You know, it's too risky to actually have my army uh, engaging in all this. I kind of need to take a step back, let the Ottomans do the heavy lifting here. It's a good opportunity to fight a jam, except they're still allied with people that are not involved in this war, so it's not a good opportunity. I'm just talking out my bum here. Shirvan is so discontent, and I really regret not labeling Shirvan as a rival. Same with Mushasha here. I should have done that, but I did not. Something I often forget. Well, it happens. What are you going to do? Do I still want Mosul as a fort, though? There's a question. I mean, it's just going to cost me lots of money without any real benefit to it, as far as I can see. The days of that benefiting me are somewhat over, and I can't spare the money. And I really want that province back, so if nobody else is going to siege it, I certainly will. Hundred and ninety years seems a long time to beat up the auto scum. We're working on it. Especially since he just conquered the land that I need. There's a lot of Ottomans that I'm gonna to have to kill later on. But kill I shall. The Ottomans are disgustingly at military tech 19. It's a huge tech, and they took it with, well, more than this ahead of time penalty. It is shocking. I should really be getting on this tech, though. But I don't have any spy networks built up with people that could severely reduce that cost for me. Like a jam. Like. Well, no more a jam than Mazandaran. Spy detection is pretty high there. Pretty damn high. Give it a year, I get ten. That's considerably better, and Shirvan have good tech anyway. Sickening Ottoman generals to go with their sickening everything else, but they are winning, so good job them. And Iraq will eventually see the funny side of what I'm doing to them, I hope. And there's the Timurids just cleaning up this mess. But Crimea want to show them what they're made of. 
Sorry, it's uh, subjugation or bust, my good friend Iraq. My good ex-friend Iraq. Now, I don't need this Diplo guy anymore. I like him because I def uh, desperately need Diplo power, but I simply can't afford him. So away he goes. Advisors get more expensive as the game goes on. Jake, you should drop army spending now that the Ottomans have killed most of the enemy. Uh, what I probably should do is get my army back to somewhere that won't revolt. Yeah, like uh, Malatia or Dervijervi and not pay them because I need some money here. I want it all and I want it now. So I need to focus on defeating people in this war that are not Mazandaran. Unfortunately there's little I can do. Mazandaran are getting carved up here. However, I don't think the Ottomans are going to peace out of this war anytime soon. And good, our conversions carry on. I need to get on those. Hamadan is next, I suppose. So I'm going to... Wow, I didn't have the edict there. I just keep throwing my game, don't I? Get on with it. Jake. Fingers crossed for Jake uh, experiencing Ottoman event revolt in that province. It's happened before, I'm sure it'll happen again. This is kind of dangerous times for all involved, but I need Mazan Daran out of here. So Ottomans, I do want this siege. Actually, Crimea might be the better one to tell to go there. They seem to have some free moments here. Kazvin can just starve, I don't care that much. Mushasha's gonna kill me, isn't he? No, no, he's scared of me. Of course he is. Look at how incredibly powerful I am. Yeah, he's definitely coming to kill me. See you later. And yes, perhaps the Ottomans should go there. Crimea do not quite have the punch to see through that. But I really want Iraq gone from here. They might hate my guts, but they've got to go. Probably take four months before they see the funny side of that. Jake, won't the Ottomans lose trust when you give them nothing? Who said I'm giving them nothing? I have said nothing so far. Right, Mazandaran are going to be troublesome. I wanted the, to eat them up so that I could have this border with Timmy. However, 10, 20, 31, 40... Oh, I might be able to eat them up. I think I could if these just get occupied. I could be able to eat all this up. And then I could start eating Timmy as well. It would be border gore galore on core. But I think it's necessary. The worst thing I could do is get so much aggressive expansion that even the Ottomans don't want to know me. But hopefully it shouldn't go that way. And I should be protected of any, uh, any coalition that happens here. Hopefully. Again, they could strike at my, uh, my most vulnerable moment. Pretty chill there. Just meet up with the rest of the army. I don't think there's anything you need to do. Well, no, you could take that. Austria is just getting bullied so hard. Bohemia have been given free reign of the empire, and this is what happens. The nice thing is, I'm getting the tiny shreds of income that come from these provinces since they're occupied in my name. Iraq are getting a bit ahead of themselves, occupying that land up there, but like I said, they'll be gone in a couple of months. Don't worry, I have a cunning plan with what to do to the Ottoman. Alright, I love that tech, but I really need to catch up with ideas. Uh, cheaper land maintenance is tempting, more manpower, regen, and the old man firm is also tempting. I need it all, really. Just give me them cheap people. I also want my own state economics here. Okay, so far so good. And now I have my own revolt coming. Iraqi separatists. Uh, no doubt in the Iraqi lands that I just took. I'm just going to have to swallow that. 
I mean, I could fight them. It's not impossible. But why would I when I have people that could probably fight them for me? That's the real question. Some of it is Shia land, which is just downright disgusting, but this is why I need you out of this war. So, this isn't very nice, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to force religion, I'm going to make them my vassal. This means I don't have to gain liberty desire by forcing them through subject interaction. A vassal, force to remove arrival, convert to Sunni. Boom. Finally, I have a subject of my own. Hang on, I just had a thought. When the Ottomans take the Conquer Mesopotamia uh, mission, I'll probably give them a claim on Iraq. It only checks for allies. Shoot, I didn't even think of that. He's going to want subject provinces really hard. Hmm. Can somebody check? Hell, you know what? I can check that. Ahem. <clears throat> Game. Europa Universalis. Missions. Ottoman missions. Or is it Turkey? Turkish missions. Mesa. Conquer Mesopotamia. Target provinces. Not alliance with, subject of, or overlord of. Oh, crap. The Iraqi, the Badra, and the Al Jazeera region. Hmm. That's pretty that's pretty dangerous. He would get a claim here. Hopefully he doesn't want to kill me over it. I'll have to keep that in mind actually. Harumph. Hmm. It's okay, I can make do with that. Don't know how, but I will. Oh well, let's not sweat it for now. <laughs> Just hot change the files, Jake, we won't tell. Well, Achievement Manager will tell. This guy right here, he won't open up for me if I do some hot changes here. Alright, well, he loves me. He doesn't want to revolt away from me, so... I gotta improve relations and try to feed him land as quickly as possible. Sadly, he's not joining in this war, but fit kinemen do, as we say. <laughs> Shaffy. Alright, let's get those relations up. And that allows us to finish off these cores, which will allow me to convert the land as well, and I will be sure to get on that. I'm also waiting for those Iraqi separatists to pop. I never had prestige to lose. Ottomans, my capital is under uh, grave threat. Please ungrave threat it. Because I sure as hell can't. Boy, they really know who to go for. Good job, Baghdad. You make me proud. Okay, Bane Williams might have to go and save my capital, but only after it falls, which ain't right now. <laughs> 